welcome to my channel. I am here with my ASC Craft Supplies Design Team project. They have two web stores, a website, and an Etsy store. I will leave a link to both of those in the description box below. And if you use the coupon code MICHELLE10, you will receive 10% off your order. And if you purchase $75 or more, you get free shipping, which as I always say, I love free shipping and I think that is a great deal. So what I have used today is Mente's Day by Day Paper Collection. I will leave a link to that video showing the flip through of all of the new Mente papers in the shop. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous paper, a very high quality paper. So what I have created is a 3D locker as you can see and then there is a quick and easy mini album on the inside or an embellishment book whatever you would choose to do. I did make this an SVG file. I designed it with my Silhouette Business Edition which allows me to save what I create as an SVG file. So we will get started here. I used some flowers I had in my stash and then these leaves I just cut out with some cardstock and then colored them with my Copics trying to make them match the green um, in the image here. And I was so happy when I was able to cut this door out perfectly. And I wasn't sure what I wanted to put on it, so I just thought I would build up the wreath that was on the paper. I did use some glitter cardstock on this just so the door would pop out from my black background. And then this is just a lock from the Silhouette Design Store that I bought. Cricut has one which is very similar. I just made a simplified locker. I had um, seen some SVG files for one, but I just wanted a more simple design. And I wanted the curve at the bottom. I don't know why, I just like that. <laughs> So this is the front and I will turn it here, but I love the paper. I think it came out so beautiful. I didn't feel like I needed any embellishments because the paper is just absolutely stunning. And I love the staircase and I wanted to really utilize that on the side of the locker. And then on the top, I used the beautiful floral paper that was in the pack. And I did use the 12 by 12 papers for this. And I do have a magnet here underneath the paper. And as you can see, it opens up and I love the look of this. I think that looks so neat with the stairway when you open the door. I just thought it was really neat. So there's the inside of it. And then the chippy cracked like concrete floor. So that's the inside. So now I have it set up so we can get a better look at the album. So I use this flower from my stash. These are from the shop. And um, the sequins I received in a swap from Raquel, who is Paints and Glitter. And it went perfectly, I thought, with this project. She had some really pretty sequins in there and that little heart and some little diamond pieces. And I just love that look. I know it's kind of busy, but I really like it. And there's the side and the back. And I just use the same sheet of paper, as you can see here. And just have that scene wrapping all the way around the um, covers and on the inside um, you have this beautiful towel paper there's a part of the staircase and the florals the flowers and then you open it up and i wanted to use the window paper and then you open it up like so and i just wanted it to be you know a mirror kind of a mirror album for this and then this is different back here, but the covers, the inside covers are the same. So this is my design team project. Stay tuned if you would like to see the tutorial on how I put the locker and the album together. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out ASC Craft Supplies and remember to use coupon code MICHELLE10 and any order $75 or more receives free shipping. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So this will just be a quick share of how to import the image into the design space, size it, and change the score lines. The first thing we want to do is upload and upload image, browse. I have it saved to my desktop and I'm just going to type blocker and there it pops up and you can see in the SVG name I included the width and the height that it needs to be. Select open, 
there it is. We will select Save. So now that it is uploaded, we're going to select it and then select Insert Image. And the first thing we want to do is size the image while it's all grouped together. We'll change that to 15. And then since the little lock proportions is on, it automatically made it 20. So we'll just put it there. I do want to make my screen a little bit smaller so we can see almost everything. There we go. Bring it up now. So I have found the easiest way to change the cut lines to score lines is to just go to the right over here and see the cut lines that do not have a image beside of them, like the gray, the blue, and the pink down here. So the boxes or you know shapes that we're cutting. So hold your shift key down and go through and select the cut lines that do not have anything beside them and then go over to line type and select the drop down menu and select score. So we'll just go down through here and hold the shift key down, select the cut lines that do not have anything beside them. Okay, and then line type and score. And now what we can do is we will go ahead and ungroup everything. And I want to, I'm going to go ahead and move the gray pieces over to the side. Don't move these two smaller ones because we need to attach the score lines. And I will move the blue as well. And you can see that all of the lines that were here are changed to score lines. So I just want to click on this. And you can see that it has these together on the right. So we'll just select attach. And if I click it here, and then I want to hold the shift key and do the score line and we can attach. But I have to move this over. It's wanting to pick the bigger one. So we'll do that. Or actually we'll just make a window around those, attach, do these two and attach. And this one, we'll just make a window to make sure we get all four of the score marks and select attach. So we can just highlight this and attach and do the same to this one as well. And attach. And that's all you have to do to use the file in Cricut Design Space. Okay, I'll just go through our pieces really quickly so you will know um, when you have them cut out what they are. And I did cut the hinges and the handles. I cut it out of pink cardstock and my glitter cardstock. Since I was cutting, I just went ahead and cut it out of both because I like to layer it and then it stands out a little bit more. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to layer it. So I just went ahead and cut them out of both. And this is the bottom of the locker and it is four, or no, excuse me, five by six and scored at a half an inch on all four sides in case you would want to make this by hand. Um, and then this is the decorative piece that goes on the bottom. If there are some of you that would like for me to make one by hand and do a tutorial on that, just put it in the comments below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can. Um, but I did create the file so you can use it in Cricut or um, Silhouette and I will go through and show you what you need to do in Cricut to get it to the right size. So that's the bottom and the top piece is four by five and you will need a decorative piece 
Oh, well, there it is. A decorative piece for the top on the outside and then the top on the inside. So the door is four and a quarter by eight and a half. Yes. And the decorative pieces are just a quarter of an inch smaller, so that gives you an eighth of an inch all the way around for your decorative paper. And these are the decorative pieces for the inside and outside of the locker. This is the front, like your door frame for your locker, and it is five by 10. And it is scored at a half an inch on the top or the long side, okay? And the back panel for the locker is five by 10 and scored at a half an inch on the 10 inch side or the top. And the two sides of the locker are five by 10 and scored at a half an inch on three sides. And also what I did when we're putting this together to make sure the bottom of the locker, the floor of it comes out even. I put little tiny, when it cuts out, it'll make these little tiny cut marks. That way, when we're putting it together, we can line it up on the inside so it's nice and you know fairly flat for the bottom since when you open the door, you do see it. Sound like I'm building a house. Okay, so these are our pieces and I am going to get out the sides and the front piece. And I'm gonna set these over to the side here, the decorative. We want to make sure we get this piece that is only scored at the top in the middle, <laughs> okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I need to miter the corners. And this is just, I'll draw a little pencil mark here. That is where the score marks intersect, and I just want to stay on to the right of that just a little bit, but this will help get rid of some bulk, and I'm going to do that to the other side, and I'm going to take off some of our score tape here, <coughs> and I'm just going to line it up along the bottom. I found that to be the easiest. Get a little bit closer. Let me move my camera a little bit that way line it up and I want to just be right up against that score line so that looks really good and you can see the score line is just you know this piece is right up against the score line you don't want to cross the score line because then this piece would stick out when we make our box for our locker it would stick out past if you would have a little piece stick out past that just take your scissors and trim it off so that's that piece, and we will do the other side. Okay, I'm gonna turn it like this again. Whoops, see, I caught myself. I almost did the wrong sides. We need a, you know, a side on this side and a side on the right. So I'll take my score tape off. And we're just going to line it up along the bottom and just up against the score line. Remember not to go over to uh, go over the score line. Oh. I forgot to miter my pieces, so I'm just going to do it really quickly. This one I'm going to leave straight, and you will see why here in just a minute. And we can go ahead and put the front on this side. I'm just lining it up and making sure not to go past, you know, to stay up against the score line. And that looks really good. There we go. Okay, so now we have our front piece, a side, our back, and a side. So now I want to go ahead and put on our decorative paper. So, and in the foul, 
How you will know the ones that go on the outside is because they will have the little curve at the bottom to cut out. And do that for the back. I'm trying to decide. I might do the tickets. Nope, I'm going to do that one. I want this one on this side. <laughs> I'm trying to think when I fold it, fold it up, I'll know. I'm trying to decide if I want the tickets or the other one. I just love the flowers and the, the collage on the back. I am using my art glitter glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to turn it over and I want to go ahead and put the inside decorative pieces on. And I chose to go ahead and do all the same pattern this time on the inside. So we'll just glue these down. So now we have our decorative pieces on the inside and the outside. I didn't put one on the inside of the door because, you know, you can't see it. So why use paper? And we'll go ahead and score these. Go ahead and do the tops as well. Okay. We'll just set this aside for just a second and we will go ahead and put the decorative piece that I picked out for the bottom and go ahead and put it inside. Center it inside the score, mark, score lines. That looks good. So I want to make sure I keep my bingo the right way and like I said when you cut the foul out there's these little slashes and that's just to put your bottom piece up against like so see it'll go up like that and what I'm going to do is I need to miter the corners okay and I want to make sure if you're using a pattern um, this is the back, so I want it to go this way, so when I look inside, when I open the door, you know, I can read it. It won't be upside down. And just take the score marks you have here, if you can see those right there, and I'm just lining them with the score marks along here. And I'm putting it up against this little line here. Let me find my pencil, but there's a little line right there. That's where the little cut line is. And I'm just going to line this all up. I do need to bring it just a little bit closer. So I'm going up against that and I'm making sure these score marks are lined up here on the sides. Let me erase that little tick mark. Forgot to score. Okay, so now when we fold this over, I want to line this up with our little cut mark. So it's there. We're going to bring the bottom up against it. And then I'm just pushing this down on the back. And go ahead and fold it over this way. And I'm just lining the bottom up with the little cut mark. Okay. And now we'll fold this piece over on the front. So see, we're getting our shape. It looks really good. 
I'm going to go ahead and peel this up part of the way and peel this back part of the way and just fold this over Make sure so I'm just folding I'm not going to go ahead and push it down yet I'm going to push this down in line see how I'm making the bottom line up flush with the front of the cutout on the front of the door frame so I'm doing that I'm going to get it about halfway down so I wanted to make sure it was straight and then I want to come over here and make sure we line the bottom piece up so those are lined up so I'm going to go ahead and push the bottom down and I want to just make sure this is going to all match up and that looks really good make sure not to come past that score line I'm just going to be really careful. We don't want to mess up the front that we've got everything put together so nicely. And so there's your locker. And on the top, what I did, so it would stay square. I left these pieces as they were. I didn't want to miter them. So when we fold these down, we can make sure it lines up like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off the bottom piece. And I'm just going to fold that down, stain, you know, don't go past that score line, and do the same in the back. And reach underneath and secure it. We'll come over here and do the bottom. And just line these up again. And then I'll reach under and secure. Okay, and that looks really good. So we'll set that aside for a second and now I want to put the decorative piece on the top. I'm going to go ahead and take off this score tape. So then we're just going to take this and I'm going to, a second, there's like a, there we go, there's a big piece of score tape. And I'm just lining this up, like so, making sure it is not hanging over. Okay, and that looks great. So I'm just going to push it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and get my bone folder and run this on the inside along those seams to make sure it is adhered really well. And now we can take our decorative piece and put it on the inside of our locker. I'm going to put the hinge under the decorative paper so it will be sandwiched between the two. But the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure I fold my score marks on the hinge and you want the smaller side is going to attach here on the frame. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue, make sure not to get it on the score mark. I just kind of line the top of the hinge with the top of the cutouts. And I will fold that back and push it up against so it won't go past the door or the, yes, yeah, so my score mark will not go past the door so it will fold nicely and open and close nicely. Okay, we'll do the same thing to the bottom hinge. Line the bottom of it with the bottom of the cutout. And I'm just folding it back like so, making sure you can see. And then I just push it up against the door. That way I don't go past that score mark. Okay, so that's the hinges. So now I'm going to glue my decorative piece to the front of my locker. Okay, so now we need to attach our magnets. And I have these really small magnets. They are about um, a quarter of an inch. I need two of those. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm making sure I slide them apart that they will go back together. 
and I'm just going to tuck it behind the door. So my magnet is here and I'm going to put this magnet down and we will put our decorative piece on the inside of the door after we get our magnet attached. So I'm going to put glue on the hinge. I'm going to center the door and line the edges of my hinges up with the edge of this decorative paper. I'm going to scoot it up just a little bit before I push it down. And that looks really good right there. So just going to push those down. Have our hinges, I'm just going to fold the door back and put a little dollop of glue on that magnet and put the door down and hold it for just a little bit till that dries. Okay, so I have let the magnet dry and it stuck perfectly. So I'm just going to fold those back and crease, crease them just a little bit. There we go. And we will glue the inside of the decorative piece of our door on. My magnet is just barely covered. It's, it's kind of hard because we don't have much room here. So you want to try to get it on the close to that edge as you can. Now we will work on our handle and our lock. The lock that I'm using is from the Silhouette Design Store, but I did look in Cricut Design Space, and if you have access, they had one very similar. So what I'm going to do is I cut out the gold for the back, and I'm going to glue the pink on the front to make my lock. So let me grab some little pop dots. These are the mini pop dots from Stampin' Up. I actually think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with pink on both of these on the handles. And I'm going to change the heart piece down there so it'll stand out. So what I'm going to do is put pop dots. One at the top and one at the very bottom. tweezers for this. And I'm just going to look from the front and make sure none of it's sticking out. I think there might be a little bit, so I'm just going to turn that off. And I'm going to place the lock over that pop dot. So when I put this piece, it will be attached to the handle. And I'm just centering that with the handle and pushing it down. And now we can glue the handle to our locker. And like I said, I'm going to change the heart to probably this aqua collar is what I'm thinking about. I'm just going to put some glue on the back of the handle and side where I want it. I think I'm going to put it right about there. Looks pretty good. Okay. So that is our completed locker. We are going to do the same thing as we did for the locker. We're going to upload image and select browse. And I have it saved under album. One. Open. And there it is. And I have the width, which is 9.615 by height. 7.397, so save, select it, and insert image, 9.615, and enter, and our lock proportions is locked, so it came out correctly, and we're going to do the same thing again, is we're going to come over to the right, and we're going to click on the cut lines that do not have anything beside them while holding down the shift key. And that will turn those into score lines. And there's only the six this time. Okay. So come over to line type, drop down menu, and score. So we need to ungroup our items. 
and we'll slide these top pieces over. And now select the score line and hold down the shift key and select the turquoise box. And that has both of those selected. We have the attach option. So we will select attach and move it over to the side and do the same thing again. So the score line, shift key, and the turquoise box, and attach, slide it over, and then we will slide these pieces down here, kind of keep them together. Oops, let me hit the back button. Put those out of the way. We will select the score line, hold down the shift key, select the other score line while holding down the shift key still, select the blue box, and come and attach. And we'll move it down here. And now we can just do the score line here, hold down the shift key, second score line, and then now do the darker pink while holding the shift key, select it and do the attach. And that gets these four lines on your album. Okay, so we're, we'll show you how to put the album together. I'll go through the measurements first. And the album has two flaps in it. So we'll start with the decorative pieces for it. And they are three and three sixteenths wide by seven and 13 sixteenths. And you will need four of those. And the flaps are three and 13 sixteenths by seven and score at a half an inch on the long side. And you will need two of the flaps. And for the inside pages, your cardstock is seven by seven and seven eighths. And you are going to score at three and a half and four and three eighths, and you're going to score on the seven and seven eighths side. So it's the longest side. And the decorative pieces for this are three and five sixteenths by six and seven eighths. And you will need four of these. So these fit here. And then the spine is three fourths an inch by six and seven eighths. So that's those sizes. And the covers, the cardstock is nine and five eighths by seven and three eighths. And you're going to score at three and three fourths and five and three fourths. So nine and five eighths by seven and three eighths. And the decorative pieces are seven and three sixteenths by three and five eighths. And you will need four of those. I didn't say that. And the spine pieces are one and seven eighths wide by seven and three sixteenths tall. So I'm sorry for the odd, you know, sixteenths measurements. I try not to do that. I find it in the software and I that's where the measurements came out so we'll go ahead and start with our outside covers so this is your nine and five eighths by seven and three eighths piece and we're all we're going to do is glue our paper on so you're gluing between the outside edge and the score line outside edge and the score line, and then your spine pieces go between the score lines. I'm going to do that on the front and the back, so you want to make sure you figure out which paper you would like to use for your cover. So I'm going to do the cover first so I don't forget and glue it down. So this side will be the cover because it's going to fold like so, and that's our book. So it's a tall, skinny album, just, just a quick and easy album. To fit in the locker, I'm going to do that plaid. One, two, let's see here. And I'm going to put that piece here. Is how I want that. So I'm saving, let's see, these two pieces for 
the inside. And okay, so now I'm just going to glue these down. Just turn it over and I'm going to glue the pieces on the inside. So these will be the inside covers. Now I'm going to bring in the inside pieces or the inside pages. And I want to go ahead and bring our flap pieces in. And on our flaps, I'm just going to miter each corner. Make sure not to cut on your score line cut beside of it. This will just take some bulk away from the edge of the album. And you can use your art glitter glue to glue the flaps down. I just thought it would help save a little bit of time. I'm gonna go ahead and tarnish the score line. Take off the score tape. And I'm just going to line this up along the very edge. Actually, I'm going to go like this. It'll be a little bit easier. Do it. Okay, there we go. So that is down. And then it folds inside like so. And we will do the other side. So I am attaching it to the inside of our page. I'm just turning it over so I can see the score marks on this side to line it up. Okay, that's that. So now we have our flaps. And let's go ahead and cover the inside. We'll figure out how we want our pages. So I'm gonna put that there. And I really like this. So I think I'm gonna put it there on that side. I'll just lay it there so I'll know what's going to be on the other side. And I'm gonna put that on the back. So that goes there. And then for our spine piece, I've already put score tape to adhere it to the cover spine. So now that we've decided that, I am going to glue everything down and then I will be show you how we attach this to the covers. So now we have our inside pages with our flaps. And I'm just going to go ahead and score this. Put that over. Okay, there we go. And I went ahead and put score tape on the spine. And if you want, you can measure this. And it's two inches, so the middle would be one inch. And then down here, between the score marks, you know, would be one inch as well. Let me pull my line. So that will just help us keep this centered. And I'm just going to eyeball it. I want to make sure it's centered from top to bottom as well as the middle of. And that's all it is to the album. 